This is the story of a habit. He was an accountant and his habit was to bill more. And his habit sometimes got him into ethical issues. And the name of this habit was Bill Moore Buggins. For you see, Bill Moore had never fully understood the independence issues addressed in Ethics 101-3. But that was all about to change today with the appearance of some unexpected visitors. Bill Moore was preparing for his day when the old wizard Grundorf arrived. Good morning. Would you like to sit and join me in a cup of coffee? First, we both wouldn't fit in there. And second, I have no time for coffee today. We must get ready to perform an audit. Wait a minute. What do you mean, we? I try to limit my accounting services to tax and consulting services only. I understand, but I have heard good things about you, Billmore Buggins, and I must implore you to journey to a client that has need of your services. This client needs an audit, and all you need to do is to prepare yourself for independence issues. How am I to do that? I have arranged for a company of dwarf lawyers to come here to take you on this quest. Dwarf lawyers? I don't trust them as far as I can toss them! The next morning, Billmore found himself the unwitting host to a company of dwarves for breakfast in his home. Grumdwarf, they're eating me out of house and habit hall! That's what happens when you offer free breakfast with a night's stay. You're out of waffle batter. This never happens at the Hampton Inn. Grondorf, this just isn't going to work. As you're aware, I've been providing non-attest services for years, but I've never attained the written understanding for those services. Surely, if I do an audit now, I'll be in violation of 101.3. The eggs are cold. This quest is not easy to get out of, my hobbit friend. For you see, the requirement does not apply to services performed prior to becoming an attest client. You got any more of those cinnamon swirly rolls? Of course, once you've accepted this quest, you would be required to obtain the understanding prior to performing any other non-attest services. Hey, now we're out of coffee. That's the last straw. Now they've drunk all my precious coffee. Surely you don't expect me to join this company of unruly dwarves on a long journey to the only mountain to audit a dragon named Smug? Why, yes I do. And don't call me Shirley. Do you really think we'll be able to finish an adventure this grand in one movie? Of course not. That's why they're splitting it into two movies. And so, the company set out on their quest through the forest. Where are we? Somewhere in the forest. I need a cup of coffee or a cappuccino. And before long, they encountered their first independence issue and were captured by three trolls. That's a fine collection of dwarves you have there. They'll make fine meal. So, tell me again about these journal entries. Well, we'll be providing certain routine journal entries for accruals and depreciation. Uh, we don't completely understand how you do what you do. But we do get the gist of what you're doing. That's all you really need to know. So, would you like for us to accept this in writing? No. A simple conversation such as this will do. I'll simply put a memo in my file. Oh, seems like you've been talking all night. Oh no! Look! These 
sun is rising! And we're all out of coffee too! <laughs> they sure condensed that scene! Yes, but they're still going to have to split the story into two movies. Yes, and they're out of coffee. With the trolls turned to stone, Grundorf was able to free Billmore and the dwarves, and they continued on their quest to meet with the elves of Riverdell. Where are we now? Look, it says Riverdell. Where are we now? I told you, just look down. After making several wrong turns on their way to Riverdale, the company finally met with the elves. I always make it a point to discuss my journal entries with my clients, but I never seem to find the time to document it. Actually, documentation is not required. However, a memo could come in handy to indicate who reviewed the work. This would also support your contention that your client has taken responsibility. Cookies are done. And with that, the company continued their quest. While crossing the messy mountains, they were driven into a cave by a snowstorm and were quickly captured by goblins. Wow, that sure took a long time to get out of that cave. Yes, that's why they're going to have to split the story into two movies. The dwarves escaped when they found an exit from the mountain, but Billmore was left behind. Billmore found himself alone in the dark cave where he discovered an unusual treasure and an even more unusual creature. What? Oh... What a beautiful mug! I'll just put it in my pocket for safekeeping. Who are you? It's me, Callum. Oh, what a relief. I was worried it was my peer reviewer. Let's play a riddle game. Okay, I'll begin. A priest, a rabbi, and a minister walk into a bar. That's not a riddle, that's a joke. Okay then, here's a riddle. What do I have in my pocket? That's not a riddle either. That's just stupid. Okay then. I believe that my client will have trouble understanding the concept of deferred income taxes. Will their lack of knowledge impair my independence? Don't know. Wicked habit says I'll fix you. Must go retrieve my precious. Hmm, come to think of it, it's not fair to expect my client to understand the work I do. They simply need to understand the nature and the impact. Wicked habits has stole my precious. Hmm? What's he talking about? Wicked habits has stole my coffee mug. No more caffeine per column. Time to go. Now how do I get out of here? Oh, there it is! With the aid of the magic coffee mug, Billmore was able to find his way out of the cave and rejoin the dwarves. But it wasn't long before they had more troubles and independence issues as they were immediately attacked by giant wolves. <laughs> Fortunately, they were saved by giant eagles, who helped them continue on their quest. I need to warn you that the client does not have a formal system of internal control. Then how can I possibly meet the requirements of 1013 that the client establish and maintain internal control? I'll lose my independence for sure! No problem! The controls can be informal, as long as you're not part of them. Okay. Hey, I can see my house from up here. <sighs> At this point in our tale, the company goes to the house of the man-bear pig. But this is a very long and boring chapter, so we'll skip it. Yes, but they're still going to have to split it into two movies. The company traveled to Muckwood, where they were captured by giant spiders. Help me! Help me! 
Fortunately for the dwarves, Billmore had something special in his audit box. In the next chapter, the company was captured by evil wood elves, but Billmore saved them by freeing them and hiding them in barrels and floating them down the river. But we'll never finish the story if we don't skip this too. Yes, but I bet they'll still need to split this into two movies. Eventually, however, Billmore found himself in the lair of Smug the Dragon who happened to live by the sea and could oftentimes be found frolicking in the autumn wood, but that's another story. So, let me get this straight. As part of the audit deal, you want me to prepare your personal tax return. I'm not asking for any favors. I'm willing to pay for the services. I don't think payment is the issue. What I'm wondering is if this counts as a non-attest service under 101.3. I don't see how that'd be a problem as long as the return preparation doesn't rely on the representations of my company. Ooh, nice cappuccino maker. Now don't go touching my cappuccino maker. I must have caffeine in that cappuccino machine. My precious needs a fill up. Oh, you're going to get it now, Habit. It looks like Billmore messed it up. You just had to snag Smug's cappuccino maker, didn't you? Of course, but that's not what he's mad about. He's all fired up about all the journal entries I proposed during the audit. Oh, great. Surely that's thrown your independence right out the window. Please don't call me Shirley, and no, proposing journal entries is a normal part of an audit, and it's not considered a non-attest service. But Billmore and the dwarves found that their quest was not over yet. What? We're only up to chapter 13 of the tale? We've got six more chapters to go, but this story never ends! I told you! That's why they're doing this story in two...